during the time when we had our lesson, and you didn't know your lesson, you got chest out. I never got physically jumped on and beat down, but I have seen brothers do that because they were serious about the mathematics, while other people were not serious about the mathematics. And when you're not serious about something that is of a serious nature, expect to get your behind mathematically checked. Same way your mother raised you, your father raised you, your brothers and the guys on the block. If you say you was about something, they gonna make sure that you prove and you show that you are what you say you're about. There's consequences and repercussions for everything that you do. And you become God, you become the earth. Your consequences, your consequences and your responsibility are tenfold. When you become knowledgeable of who you are, anyone who don't have knowledge of self basically is an enemy to you because they don't want you to have knowledge of self. When I was up there and Sam God was leaving to go home. When these brothers checked me every day coming down the road and I thought my lesson wasn't right, I used to get into a little situation I used to stutter when I was a young dog. And they used to have a saying that if you slip up, if you slip, you stumble, your world ain't wrong. If you don't have your mathematics right, go back to your college and study, my man. Just like that. Black C. Sham God was in a week, had a school up there, and a guy named was uh, Principal Gannon. They told all the five students, don't bring no lesson into the school. Don't bring your lesson. If you do, I'm going to confiscate it. I was a janitor in the school. Sam God brought his lesson to the school. They took his lesson to the principal's office. Sam God went home. Before he left, we walked everybody out to the detail office. When you get ready to go, we say, be sure see you in New York. You know, like that. Change numbers and things like that. And he told me that his book was dead. He left. And I went back to work. And I was cleaning it up, got to the principal's office, lo and behold, I had to check it out. Keep the drawers open to his cabinet. It was open. Looked in there real quick, all nervous and everything. I knew I was doing something that was right in one aspect, getting my brother's book of life. And number two, I should have been in that man's death drawer. But I did it anyway. Opened it up, found a blue folder, looked at it in the name of, in the name of blah, blah, book of life, sham rock. Boom, took it, cuffed it, and was keeping it all night long. So I was nervous and everything. Got back to the college that night, I started studying. I started studying every degree that dealt with, say for example, the seventh degree in the one before it. I started with the seventh degree, the mathematics, alphabet, straight on through to get ready for the next day. So when the brothers were going to ask me what the day in mathematics, I was going to let fire and brimstone rain down on them. And I was waiting. I came down, they asked me the degree, and I lit them up. From that point on, I kept studying my lesson. I kept studying my lesson. During that time when I was there, in 1969, June 13th, before I returned home, and we was up there, we had a real big cycle on the uh, playground, I mean on the, uh, the softball field. I think a guard named Don Hoop that we really initiated at that time. And we all come in light up, come from each college. We had colleges up there that had different roads lead to the main road that would take you to the other building that we had to go to. I don't tell you to the Texas Rangers that when one start walking and you see another one, they come out two to three. That's how the guard was rolled. Everybody was out all their colleges, mess hall everywhere, and got down to the baseball field. We all come in light up. We all said what we were going to do from that day to this day. Those are that I know that have still been, that are still here, that are still around. We said we're going to teach this until the day we die, and we've been teaching this to this day. And that was 1969. And it stopped there for me. And I still came home and kept getting myself involved in this thing because I didn't properly understand the knowledge. So what happened, I had to repeat certain things over and over and over again. And years have went by. Then, in 86, I came home again after the federal bid. And since the 86 to now, which is a period of 18 years, I've been steadfast on my square, renewing my history, doing my duty for my nation, not being a big-headed individual, but being a servant to my nation. I came and chose a position. I stepped to my elders at my first born, and I explained to them what I wanted to do. And they gave me a blessing. And that was due to security for this great and mighty nation. To make sure that we all can sit in here in peace 
and honor. So to understand your knowledge, you have to go through trials and tribulations. And through your trials and tribulations, you may fall on your face. But you have to get up, brush yourself off, and keep it going. But one of the things first born at BJ had told me, he said, God, he said, you think they pulling on you? You think they pulling you in different directions? Just imagine what they did to Almighty God our life. And it had to dawn on me that no matter how much I'm being pulled in this direction or the other direction, I always got to bear witness to the greatness of the Father. Because if the Father can do it, he gave us the map, the guideline to be successful in our overtaking, then I have to understand that now. And I got to keep it stepping and keep it moving. Because the same way that I know that fire radiates heat, and that ice radiates cold, and man radiates ideas, God radiates light, and the life giving teaching from telling the truth. And knowledge of God is what we're supposed to be teaching to civilize the uncivilized, to civilize the world. Please. And in order to civilize the world, we got to bring balance to our own self first. So to commemorate our 40th year anniversary, one of the things we should bring on is bring the knowledge back to men. Bring it back to a law school and men. Bring it back to the parliament so we can understand the knowledge, then what happened? Then the God and earth reorganized, reunified, and got back on a square by teaching freedom, justice, equality, and its law. If you be about the quality work, be about the business, what would be your reward to regard the destruction of the devil? It should be peace and happiness. We're supposed to get all we have and all within our power to see this day for which we have waited for 379 years to understand God's manifestation. The nation of God on earth will never fall. The nation of God on earth will always be there. But if you as an individual God and earth don't step to your business and do what you're supposed to do, educate yourself, clean yourself up, become civilized, Remain civilized and teach civilization to others, then you will for them. That will have no place here. So why is the world manifest today? 40 years. There's no room for ever. Y'all need to come back home. Peace. <laughs>